Hello, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw an hexagon. Now, <coughs> you can draw an hexagon with uh, using your triangles because the hexagon sides are based on 30 degrees on 60 degrees. Um, but I found the easiest way and the most accurate way is to use your compass to draw the hexagon with. The problem is if you use a 30 60 degrees with this line here on the side, it's at an angle. So it's going to be difficult to determine 30 and 60 degrees. You, you, it's going to get difficult and you will be out by some margin. So um, I'm going to show you now how to do this this hexagon by only using your your compass. Now one fact that you have to know, one, one uh, thing that you have to know about your hexagon is one side of a hexagon equals the radius of the circle where a hexagon fits into. All right. So meaning, if I take this side, that should equal the radius of a circle that will fit, uh, where the hexagon will fit into. So now we have to make sure that we can get the circle, the radius of the center for that circle. Now it works in the same principle as drawing a triangle uh, to get the midpoint because I want to know how far this point and where this point meets up. That's going to give me the middle point and that will, if you if we were drawing a triangle it will be a perfect triangle. So now we've got our center. I'm going to take my compass, put it in the middle on the mark and just draw an arc. Once again this is a construction. Now a hexagon has got uh, six sides, right? So all we do is put a place, place it there, mark it off once, mark it off twice, three, and four. Oh, there are all my six sides. Just to confirm it comes together. Yes, it does. Right. So all I have to do now is I have to connect all those sides together and then I've got my hexagon. Okay, finish this one quickly. Right, so that's easy. But remember with this step, the hexagon is on the inside. If for some reason they give you a dimension where it will be from side to side, they specify this distance you cannot use this method. Uh, you'll have to determine uh, uh, by doing either an auxiliary wheel, but we'll get to that later. But just remember, your basics with the hexagon is your side, one side, equals the radius of the circle where your hexagon fits into. All right, I hope that helps a lot. Uh, well, uh, thank you for listening, and please like if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, more videos will follow.